All right, so the first thing that we're gonna start doing is creating our value scale. Make sure you have your name and hour number on that piece of paper. Okay, you've got your black and white on opposite corners of your magazine page. And the first thing we're gonna start with is our black. Pure black goes on the far left-hand side. You're gonna wanna make sure you're using a brush with about half an inch to an inch thickness. You're gonna scoop up quite a bit of paint there. And we're gonna get started. So as you're painting this first box, you want it to fit within the box. We're working on getting a nice even coating of paint. Not too thick, not too thin. And really trying to work to fit it within that first box. Now, if your paint looks a little scratchy like this, that means you need more paint if it looks a little scratchy. And we're not gonna clean our brush, we're just gonna keep it moving. Next step is gonna be to go to one shade darker. Now, in order to make it slightly lighter, I'm going to add a little bit of white paint. Between white and black, white is the wimpier color out of the two. So I'm gonna scoop up some black. I'm gonna twist my bristle, bristles to start a new pile and I'm gonna get a pretty healthy scoop of white. And I'm just gonna mix that in. And I'm gonna keep twisting my bristles. I don't wanna just paint the magazine page, so I'm scooping those colors, that paint closer towards the center and then twisting my brush again. If I think that this gray is too light, I would wanna add a little bit more black to it. Okay. So I get that next darkest value on, I'm gonna go ahead and paint in that next square. Slash rectangle, it's actually a rectangle. Okay, nice and easy. You should see a clear difference between the box before it and the box after it. And you should be mixing up a large enough pile that you can fill the whole square. So I'm gonna use this next one over. By the time I get to the fourth box over, this should be my middle gray tone. So I'm just gonna keep adding white to my existing piles. Okay, so this is your mid-tone gray right here in the center. Again, I'm working really hard to make sure I'm staying in the lines. Okay, you can see on my mixing palette here how I'm going through the shades and I'm keeping them because I'll use that later on as well when I start the celebrity painting. Twisting those bristles to make sure I'm getting it all out. Going to my next lightest. Okay, on the second one over, I'm just gonna use the gray that I have left on my brush plus a ton of white. That's gonna give me that really light gray tone. And then I'm gonna clean my brush before I do my pure white. If you have even just a touch of gray on your brush when you go to do your pure white, it's gonna take over everything. Um, water and tempera are not friends, so you'll notice that I'm drying my brush after each time. Drying my brush after each time I get that pure white on my brush. We don't wanna leave anything paper colored. And I go ahead and finish off by painting that pure white. Make sure that you can see that difference between box to box, knowing that the farther over to the right that we go, the more white we're adding, farther to the left, the darker it is, the more black we are adding. Good luck on your value scale, you guys are doing great. 